I have a big announcement about my life in Hidalgo. Well, I rarely do anything personal. This video is going to be somewhat personal, although you're involved as well. As many of you recall, I did a video on me being a hermit. And I touched on some reasons as to why I decided I chose to basically live alone, live somewhat isolated. Had a lot to do with the two years ramping up to me getting really sick, two years of being very sick, having cancer, uh, being told that it was essentially a death sentence, that it was a very aggressive form, and uh, particularly I overheard two doctors and a nurse talking in the hall not far from my doorway, and they should learn not to do that, where they're saying essentially that there's nothing to do except string me along and make me feel good about it. And then came the time after uh, the operation and all the things leading up to it, when lo and behold, they discovered that it was gone. A miracle, one of them, uh, a technician claimed. I don't know about that, but I've been healthy my whole life. I've been very fortunate. Today, I feel great. But I had a lot to mull over. Two years of struggling trying to work and then could no longer work and I've worked my entire life. And then being essentially bedridden for a couple of years, it, it really took a toll on me. Uh, I didn't wanna live. I mean, that's no way to live. And for anybody out there that's had to do that or is doing that, you have my complete sympathy and understanding. You don't want to go one more day. And um, so then to find out that I'm miraculously cured, and three days later I jump the plane and I get to keto and took a couple days in keto to kind of regroup, came to Cuenca. It was a few weeks before I could walk more than 10 feet. <laughs> uh, the altitude didn't help, but it, I was basically, I came here sick, I came here too early and then doing all the things that I've done. And today I feel great. Uh, but I really needed to understand some things. I needed to internalize some things that I was struggling with. I didn't even know what it was. I did cover some of that in a video. You know, what do they say? You need to find your happy place. Well, so in Cuenca, I, I couldn't find that. It was, it was, it's a city. And I lived in a building that had very friendly people and you couldn't go outside your door without, you know, people wanting to talk to you and the people that work there and all of that. Um, I just wasn't finding it. So I came to Giron, which is an absolutely wonderful town. I highly recommend it. Anybody who wants to come here, let me know. Um, I was able to isolate myself here, but you're really not isolated unless you choose to, like, like I did. And as a side benefit, the rents are half the price. But I came to a realization, and you may have noticed this in the videos, about a month and a half ago, that that time was pretty much over. I had gone through all the things that I needed to to feel comfortable again, to feel like myself again. And I was ready to venture out. And in some recent videos, you've seen me getting out and going to Cuenca and doing a lot of things. And instead of needing to escape from that, to dabble in it and need to run back home and get isolated again because it was a, a bit of overload, it was not like that anymore. It was perfectly fine. I could meet people and not cringe and run and <laughs> I might exaggerate a little bit, but it was not comfortable for me to meet people. And, and so I've, I, it, it became obvious that that time had passed. And so what am I getting to? Well, my lease is up here in about a month and I've decided 
I'm going to move. And then the question came, where am I going to move? Will it be Colombia? Will it be Quito? Will it be Cuenca? Will I go back to the United States? What am I going to do? Now that I'm feeling good, I'm feeling healthy, and the whole world has opened up to me again, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? I still have a lot of travel that I want to do, particularly in South America. So how can I do that? Well, I, obviously I've been struggling with that, trying to decide. I love Colombia. I could live there happily the rest of my life. I have friends there. But I don't, re I don't know why, but there's something that's just kind of holding me back on that. And the only thing that would push me over the edge would be this healthcare thing. I have two videos that are upcoming, and in one of them I'm going to address that particular situation uh, in the next one. So watch for that. Also in the next one, I'm going to put string together a whole bunch of tips. Now my videos, I've got over 150 now, and if you watch all of them, you're pretty much going to learn everything you need to know about how to get here and adjust and live a good life. But I'm going to string together some key tips in this next video. Maybe you don't have to watch all 150. So there'll be tips and I'll be talking about the healthcare situation. But in this one, the question is, I'm going to move, where am I going to move? I have decided that I'm going to move to Cuenca again. Currently, as of yesterday, I began looking for a big, big house. I want another big house that has minimum four bedrooms, preferably five bedrooms and an office. In the future, I'll touch on that as to why I'm going to do that. But I'm looking now, and I actually, my goal is to move September 1st. I've already talked to the movers. They moved all my stuff out here. It was $120 with several workers, a driver, a great big uh, box truck. And he messaged me back this morning and he said, yeah, absolutely no problem, happy to do it. So it's not terribly expensive to move a four bedroom worth of house furniture and refrigerator and all washer and dryer and everything. So that's what's going on. That's what's happening. I'm looking at a house in the Parque de la Madre area. Isn't that funny how I did some videos walking around there and about that area, and I love that area. But I'm also looking at, um, there's two houses out by the mall where the river runs through and you have all these little parks and, and beautiful trees. And so I'm looking there. So there's a few areas that I'm looking in and I'm gonna try to lock this down. The upside is it's difficult for them to rent big houses like that. There's not a lot of people looking. And also there's a lot of property for rent. A lot of people have left uh, in a panic over the healthcare thing, which was a big mistake uh, for them to panic over it. In Ecuador, you have to kind of bide your time. They will have to do something, but it turns out there's some pretty good alternatives if you need insurance. I'll be moving. I've already started the process. I've messaged several real estate friends that I have, one in particular that found me this house here in Hidon. Um, he's already on it and he's taken a look. I've been scouring. I've got friends that are looking. Um, next week, I'll get out and walk in the neighborhoods that I'm interested in because that's where you find your best deals. Just walk and look for the signs. So that process is in motion. So my future, at least for the next year, will be in Cuenca and hopefully from that base of operations I can then do my travel and come back and forth and operate it like that. So that may not be a big announcement to you, you may not care, <laughs> but for me it's a big deal. For me it, it was a breakthrough to get to the point where I felt that I can go out and be myself again. So this will give me an opportunity to do some videos on this search, on this process. Now understand that I've been here for several years and I have lots of local friends and it will be easy for me. And hopefully 
as you go through this process with me, unless something comes up and derails it, life is life. But you can go through this process with me and maybe get some useful ideas. If any of you need to be in touch with some of the people like the movers or the real estate agent, I don't get anything for it. <laughs> They're just friends, but I would be happy to give you their information. What I look for and then I hang on to are people that are not viewing me as a dollar sign, that treat me like they're treating everyone else. I look for somebody who's fair, who's honest, and believe it or not, I look for somewhat of a sense of humor. Uh, why? I have actually particular reasons for that. But it served me very well, and the people that I have for drivers and uh, guides and all of the things that you need here were carefully selected and they have been absolutely tremendous so if anybody's interested in anything in particular let me know uh, i wouldn't give you their name unless i could highly recommend them because of my personal experience so that's it for this video. Upcoming videos, again, I've got the next one that'll probably be up tonight or tomorrow night on a lot of tips and a little update on the medical situation. So that's it for now. I'll see you soon. You know you could. It's a video. Cheers.